Ever since preseason in Vermont, everyone's come a long way. A lot of miles have been put in, a lot of good quality workouts, a lot of good racing, uh, a lot of good racing experience for, for the underclassmen, which I think uh, is, is huge. The men's season has gone, you know, phenomenally so far. I mean, to be honest, my expectation before this season with such a young crew was, um, you know, let's just see how far we can get, you know, let's see how high we can get, you know, in any 10 meet, um, you know, it's more so the race experience with the sophomores and, and the one junior, Mikey, uh, kind of leading that group and, and, and guiding them uh, throughout the year. Uh, they definitely kind of blew my expectations a little bit out of the water. Um, and now we're here where we are. And um, once again, trying to, you know, earn our spot to, to that top three at the regional meet. We started off the season really strong with two wins. We kind of got more of an idea of where we were at as the races went on. And our last race, any 10s, where we got fourth place, you know, just kind of the development of realizing where we are as a team compared to others. To get fourth place, you know, it really shows us that's, that's where we're at right now. And we know we can be number one at the region. You know, it's something that we just have to go out and work hard for it. The women's team has, has actually come along really, really well as well. I mean, yeah, we've had a couple hiccups here and there, but uh, we've been able to come back pretty strong from that. It really hasn't hindered much of the team at all or any of the individuals. I think this is the strongest team I've had in, in my uh, four years here. You know, I think this, this weekend could be anywhere from like a fourth to seventh, you know, we were seventh last year. Yeah, anything higher than that would be would be phenomenal. This is probably the best season that we've had so far across country. I mean, like we've had some injuries here and there, but this is definitely the strongest team that we've had and the fastest team that we've had. So I think it's gone very well. Jill has established herself as definitely, you know, the front runner of, of the group this year. She definitely has a shot of qualifying for nationals as an individual, uh, snagging one of those top two individual spots. You know, if she can't be in the top five in the region. I think she's set herself up really, really well to, to compete well this weekend. And the remainder of the girls, Maura, Grace, Jill, and Diedrich and Ashley have all come along really strong as well. So, you know, the women's team is going to be set up, you know, to run really well. We kind of just had this role that we try to see each one of us, like just have one runner ahead of us that we can see throughout the whole race so we can try to stay as a pack. I mean, like we try our best to stay with other teams and stay with each other at practice and try to remain a pack going into the next meet. We have four people up top, uh, me, Cedric, Ethan, and Mikey, and the, all four of us, we have to run as a pack, you know, use each other. And then we have our other three guys, uh, Jack, Connor, and Alex, and the three of them also need to be at the top of their game, you know. You're only as good as your fifth man. So uh, just having one of those three really show up and be that fifth man for us, get the points we need. You know, you're only as good as your fifth man. That's the motto in the sport. Uh, you know, you could have a really solid number one, but a decent two, three, four. And if your fifth guy or female is way back in the hundreds, um, that does nothing for, for your score and that pushes you way back. So trying to move that group forward uh, is definitely key and trying to close that gap from one to five is, is important for this young group on, on both sides. We definitely want to be in the top six and I think that's definitely achievable if we remain as a pack. Coming in top six would be like a big deal for us because it's never happened to us before. So even though we wouldn't make it to nationals, it's still a big deal. They were, I believe, ninth last year in the region I, and they were seventh in the conference meet and I'm certain that they can replicate that for sure, if not better that, especially with Jill being up front. If she can place in the top five, you know, that's it's only five points as opposed to, you know, if she's 20th, right? So. Um, you know, that's going to be huge on the women's side. We, you, you input Grace, Mora, and Jill, who all have been progressing well. Um, you know, I think if they just can do what they have been doing in practice, um, you know, there's no, there's no reason why they can't go out there and, and run the races of their lives. The memory of last year is still like so fresh to those of us that were there last year. It is shattering not making it to la nationals last year. So I think definitely for the, those of us that are back again, remembering the feeling of not qualifying. We also have freshmen that don't really know that feeling and I'm trying to get them to think about what it'd be like to miss out and what it would be like to make it there so they don't have to go through that of uh, missing it this year. Well, that's always the goal. I mean, they got to earn it though. It's never, it's never given to them. Uh, it's never given to anyone ultimately. Uh, you know, Southern has a strong team. Uh, Stonehill always has a strong team and 
AI C always has a strong team and we just need to get our pack up with those guys and they should set themselves up pretty well. But it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be it's gonna be an exciting race though. So I'm excited for that.